Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt and I help people overcome retroactive jealousy. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can take your life back. This is a very, very big key for me. When I was suffering um, very harshly from retroactive jealousy, I felt like um, my life was... I mean, like I was chained up, right? That there was nowhere to go, that retroactive jealousy just had a hold of me, had a hold of my life. And every situation where I was in, I couldn't breathe, it felt like. I couldn't have fun, I couldn't laugh, I couldn't, um, you know, just enjoy life, just love, anything, because retroactive jealousy had such a big control over my life. But once I realized, you know, almost, you know, just almost a click of my mind that, you know what, this is my life, this is my life. I'm not gonna let this thing take over. I'm not going to let this thing control me anymore. The minute I flipped that switch in my head, I started to take my life back. So I'll kind of share with you the mindset that I went through, um, what I experienced and how I was able to overcome retroactive jealousy just by simply kind of turning that switch in my mind and reminding myself that this is my life. It doesn't belong to anybody else. It doesn't belong to retroactive jealousy. It belongs to me. Now, before we get started, though, if you could take a quick moment and smash the like button on this video, that will activate YouTube's algorithm and that'll help get this video out to more people that really need to see it. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'm so excited to announce it is a brand new month. And what's so awesome about the month of April is this month we are celebrating one year on YouTube. One year. So yes, one year ago in April, actually it was towards the end of April, almost May, but still in April um, is when I started um, posting consistently about retroactive jealousy. I had posted like a video or two kind of a couple months before then and then kind of stopped because I wasn't really sure. But this is April is when things really started to take off. I started posting consistently, started uh, gaining a lot of subscribers, started creating uh, courses, doing different types of content, um, the Facebook group, things like that. Um, and things have just really taken off from there, um, which is great, you know, and, and, and what's so significant about like this, this channel and things like that is most, you know, most other YouTube channels and things like that, depending on what, um, you know, the niche is when someone comes and finds the channel, they usually subscribe and they usually stay and they become a lifelong follower, you know, subscriber here. It's a little bit different because people are coming to get help with retroactive jealousy to overcome retroactive jealousy, of course. So a lot of the people that started coming, you know, when I first started posting back in April, 2020 are not with us anymore, right? Because they came, they got the information they needed. They put it to good use. They overcame retroactive jealousy. Um, and now they're out, you know, so a lot of new, newer folks have come in and filtering in and out and this and that. So I'm um, very unique dynamic to this channel, but, um, you know, if you're somebody that has been watching for, for a while now, uh, I appreciate all the support. If you're someone new, of course, that have just come again, just as important, the support, um, to keep this channel growing. And, and I hope you've been able to learn some, um, tips and techniques and being able to feel a, at least a little bit of relief. Um, in your journey and overcoming retroactive jealousy. It's absolutely possible for you to do. So anyway, to celebrate one year here on YouTube, got a couple really awesome things going on. Firstly, um, my coaching program of WhatsApp coaching, 30 days of unlimited coaching with me through WhatsApp. It is launched. It is open for business in April. Last month, we filled up really, really quick. This month, I've got spots available for it. If you uh, want to get a coaching program with me, be able to have my personal WhatsApp information, be able to send me video messages, audio messages, um, text messages, anytime you want for the next 30 days to get extra guidance, to get extra coaching and overcoming retroactive jealousy. That information um, is available for you to sign up today if you'd like to. Like I said, a brand new month, we're ready to go. I'm um, only a couple people have signed up so far this month, so there's plenty of spots available if you're interested. The links for that are in the description below for more information on that for the WhatsApp coaching. Also to celebrate one year on YouTube, if you purchase any of my courses during the month of April, you will get automatically free 30 days of email coaching with me. So any course that you purchase, either my seven day retroactive jealousy road to freedom course, my OCD break free uh, retroactive jealousy course, or my mindfulness course, my one week mind retreat, if you purchase any of those for the normal price that they usually are, I will include my personal email address and for the next 30 days, um, you can reach out to me, ask questions, anything like that. Uh, that's all included absolutely free with the 
with that price. If you want to bundle all of the courses together, remember I got that big massive retroactive jealousy bundle where you get all three courses, I will include 90 days of email coaching for free with that 90 days. Um, that you can ask me anything and I can help you out through your journey with Retroactive Chelsea. So email coaching for free, 30 days included with any course purchase, or if you want more um, kind of, you know, almost face-to-face one-on-one help where we can send video messages, audio messages, all sorts of things to each other through uh, the WhatsApp mobile platform and things like that. Uh, that's a, a something extra also that's available for you. And all the links for everything is available in the description below. Um, thank you for letting me throw all that out there. Just very excited um, to be on YouTube for one year, to have grown as fast as we have, and it's all thanks to you and the amount of people that have overcome RJ in this in this time since uh, since we launched on YouTube has been just phenomenal, phenomenal. So hopefully more to come this year. And uh, with that being said, yeah, all those uh, all those freebies, all those bonuses, all those new coaching programs are available right now. Check the links in the description below to sign up. All right, here we go. Taking back your life. Taking back your life from retroactive jealousy. This was the big thing. I had to remind myself, this is my life. This is my life. YOLO. Who said YOLO? Was it Drake or somebody? YOLO, you only live once, right? That was the big, that, I had to tell myself that because I was wasting my life away every day waking up being plagued with these thoughts. Now, obviously, this is not something that we do on purpose, right? We don't wake up and, and, and purposely do this. Um, of course, but you know, because if we could, we'll, we would, we would switch ourselves off of it automatically, but I had to really, you know, grasp at this idea that I'm in control of my thoughts. Even if it didn't feel like it, I'm in control of my thoughts. I'm in control of my life. And so with this idea of, I, if, if this is true, if this YOLO is true, if I only live once, I do not want to waste these days worrying about my partner's past, thinking about it, obsessing about it. That's it. You know what I mean? And, and and so I had to really get kind of down and dirty and ask myself, is my partner, is this person that I'm with, is this the person that I want to be with? Like with every fiber of my being, do I want to be with this person? Is this the person for me? And I, and, and if I had any doubt to that answer, I knew it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it because I knew the journey to overcome RJ would be hard, would be bumpy, would be crazy would be insane would be painful but if i had that anchor to fall back on that this is worth it this fight is worth it because this is the person that i want to be with for the rest of my life this is my person this is you know my soulmate whatever that word is for you this is my person if you have that anchor to fall back on it makes it so much easier and and that's what i had to do i had to ask myself is this do i want to be with this person that person's now my wife or we've been married for 4 years now you know, so it was very important that I answered that question to myself. And when, when I, when I answered it and said, yes, that is, that's my person, it made things a little bit easier because, you know, no matter what I woke up feeling, I knew, no, this is worth it. This fight's worth it. This is worth it. This is my life. I only live once. I'm not going to let RJ get in my way. I, I'm focused on being the best boyfriend possible, the best fiance possible, the best husband possible. That's who I am. That's who I'm going to be. That's the life I want to live. And I had to just... Go full bricks, look ahead and just do that. You know what I mean? Just do it. And, you know, there was a part of me going through this struggle with retroactive jealousy that I didn't want to, um, you know, part of me, it, there, there was a lot of self-esteem issues that I had. I wanted everybody to like me. I didn't want to ever be embarrassed in front of somebody or, um, you know, mess up in front of somebody or have someone like, you know, not like me. And I found that part of me in overcoming RJ was being vulnerable was embarrassing myself, was messing up all the time in front of people, was creating enemies, you know, along the way, because that vulnerability and putting myself out there, feeling that negative emotion that came with it, allowed me to build up my self-esteem to make myself more confident, more comfortable, all these things. So I started to put myself in situations where I felt insecure, you know, felt uh, situations where I felt not confident, but I, you know, social situations, whatever it was, situations, conversations, um, you know, or just, um, just, you know, when, when RJ thoughts would come my way and I'd really want to think them over, I'd say no. And I just, I'd feel that anxious feeling. I'd feel that anxious response. And I just know that that's a good thing. This pain means I'm growing, you know, no pain, no gain that, that those words that I just reminded myself, no, this pain is a good thing. It's okay. That means I'm growing. That means this is growth. 
The more I feel this pain, the less it's going to hurt me in the long run in the future. And I just kept putting that in my thoughts day after day after day. Again, how, how can I test my insecurities? What can I do? And I do it and no, it wouldn't feel good. But the more I did it, the more I did it, the more I did it, the better I felt. Because I started instead of running from this pain, running from this feeling of, of anxiety, I told myself, this is the feeling of life. This is the feeling of my path. This is the feeling of my journey. This is me growing. This is me living. This is me really experiencing life. Feeling a lot of negative emotions, feeling a lot of fear, feeling a lot of nervousness. But feeling it, understanding that this is my life. And I'm choosing to feel that. I'm choosing to feel that. This, this is a part of me. This is a part of me. And that's totally okay. Right? That's totally okay. That, I guess that's the main idea I want to get through is, is we're so quick to run from these negative emotions. Run from, I don't want to feel embarrassed. Run from, I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to put my neck out there. Run from these thoughts that bother us. But when we stop running and we surrender and we say, here I am, this is my life. Come on in if you want to. Do what you want to do, but I'm a rock, but I'm solid. When we proclaim that, that this is our life, that we only live once and we're not going to be at the mercy of, of these thoughts, these painful feelings, they start to lose their grip over us. And that was so big for me, so big for me. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Every day you wake up and you, you got that pain and it sucks. I get it. it. It hurts. But keep that in mind as this is your life. This is you. Okay. You don't have to be at the mercy of these thoughts. Yes, maybe they don't feel good. Yes, maybe there's a lot of crap going on in your life. I get it. But you don't have to be at the mercy of them. Okay. You stand up for yourself. You stand up for yourself. You tell yourself who you want to be. I am confident. I have that epic self-esteem. Anything can come my way, I'm going to knock it down because nothing's going to take away the joy of my life. Nothing. And when you continue to do that every single day, every single day when you take a stand, you will win this battle. You will win. You will win. These thoughts that, that, that keep coming, they'll stop coming. Okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you will love your partner's past and want to talk about it and things like that but you won't think about it anymore. They will have no effect on you to the point where you don't think about them anymore. There's so much power in that. And I understand if you don't know what that feels like or how you could possibly get there because you think about these thoughts so much and they, they, they bog you down so much. I get it. I was there. You know my story. I was contemplating suicide many, many times because these thoughts wouldn't go away. The thoughts went away. They did. There's no anxiety attached to them anymore. It's not there. I can... Close my eyes, I can think about these thoughts. Think about, picture something in my mind that used to bother me so much. And I'm fine, I'm here, I'm talking to you. There's no anxious response there. That was because I took a stand for my life, just as you can too. So take that stand. It's your life. You only live once. Let's say it, you only live once. So make this the best life possible. Take back the control. Take back the control. Make a stand, be vulnerable, stick your neck out, embarrass yourself, okay? Make people not like you, whatever that means. You know, you don't, you don't need to have anybody like you. That's okay. You got you, and that's all you need. You got your partner. That's all you need, okay? And keep continuing to tell yourself that, tell yourself that, tell yourself that. And that will be the gateway into opening the life that you want. When you get to the realization and don't care if you embarrass yourself, when you when you come to terms with the fact that you don't care if people don't like you, everybody starts to like you, okay? Everybody starts to like you. When you get to the point you don't care if you get embarrassed or not, you'll never get embarrassed ever. Feeling insecure, you'll never feel insecure again. It's like a complete opposite effect than what we think, than what our brain tells us. You know what I mean? Our brain makes us pick out the worst case scenario, but that's not the case at all. You have the power and you have what it takes to overcome this, to win your life back. And do it today. Start today. Start today and I promise you, you'll be thanking yourself very, very soon. Very, very soon. If you enjoyed this video today, please take a moment, smash the like button so we can get the video out to more people that need to see. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Click the notification bell so you are alerted every time I post a new video. And again, if you want to um, take initiative and take advantage of any of those special offers I have for you for the month of April, because it's the one year anniversary here on YouTube, Remember, I've got my WhatsApp coaching program. It's 30 days. Me and you, we can talk via video, via audio, via text. 
mobile phone, computer, however you want to do it. I'll coach you through the next 30 days and overcoming retroactive jealousy. We'll talk about things together, um, tips, techniques, whatever you need to make it to the next level. You know, we'll, we'll do our best to get you there. Also, if you purchase, um, maybe that's a, a little too much for you. Maybe you don't want to talk via audio or see my face on video. That's totally fine. If that's not for you, um, I do have the email coaching attached to the um, courses. If you want to purchase any of the courses, you get free email coaching attached to that. I'll still help you out. It'll just be uh, through email. All right. So all that information is available in the links in the description below. Other than that, I'll let you go for today. I hope you enjoy your day. Take back your life. Take a stand. You deserve it. I know you can do it. See you in the next video.